What up, friends? How are you doing? Good evening, my friends. How are you doing? Did you see Liv's life cut her hair? Uh, I didn't watch the video. I was watching me and my daughter had a movie night. She picked the most freakiest movie ever. I was like, usually, because me and her love watching scary movies, we can usually predict what's going to happen. That's how good we are with movies, scary movies specifically. This one was out of left field. <laughs> um, so it was really good though. Anyways, so um, while I was watching a movie <laughs> with my daughter, um, this happened. Liv's life decided to chop her hair off. Um, I'm not sure she gave a reason. I haven't had time to watch the video but I did see, uh, I think Marisa, um, was sharing it and compared it to like the Britney Spears situation. Funny thing is the Britney Spears situation, the rumor around that time, if you don't remember, uh, when she had that mental breakdown was number one, she was having a mental breakdown. Number two, it was either that or Kevin Federline was going to order a hair follicle drug test. Now is Gerard asking for a hair follicle drug test? Because I think your hair has to be a certain um, length to do that. Um, I want to say that's what it is. Um, other than that, the only other way they could do it is to order a spinal tap, which I don't think any judge can <laughs> order that. That's just my uh, conspiracy theory. I don't know anybody in real life. I'm just, it just reminded me of that because of when Britney, it was, you know, it was being compared to Britney Spears' mental breakdown. Um, but I remember in the, on the back of that, they were saying it was going to be because Kevin was going to order drug tests. So that's why it reminded me of that. <clears throat> I'm not saying those are facts. I'm just saying that would be either that or views, or maybe she really is having a mental breakdown. Um, you know, sometimes maybe she is like, I'm just gonna go back to her spiritual journey. Um, whenever you're just tired of, of the bullshit you do drastic things all, all of a sudden you all, you all of a sudden change. Like for me, I had like a, like I just snapped one day and I was like, that's it. I'm done. You know, I didn't handle it very well. <laughs> um, but that was in the beginning of the my hardcore part of this journey. Um, so I didn't know any better, you know, I would have done things differently you know, if it were me now, like this much healed, I would have a better way of handling a situation like that, you know, but you know, sometimes when we're just tired of just tired, tired of being tired, we'll do drastic things because we don't know any better. Now, this might be an example of that. I'm not going to throw any shade to her. I'm not going to talk down to her. I'm not going to say anything like that. Um, but hopefully it's just, she just wanted a haircut and hopefully that's just what it is. Um, but usually for women, um, they do something drastic to their hair when there's something mentally wrong. Now I started dyeing my hair black. I've always dyed my hair, but when I colored, started coloring it black was when I got out of my abusive relationship. I was like so mentally disturbed after that relationship that's when I started dying it black and I never I have never changed I've wanted to change and do different colors do low lights highlights but I just stay dying my hair black because bef uh, before that I was blonde I, I had blonde hair before that um for a long time like as light as I could get it like I would get I would do it but after that relationship it it changed me mentally and I I've been dyeing my hair black ever since then and I just haven't gotten out of it but it I don't like it because it reminds me of that it reminds me of that time you know um but you know that's just something I'm still trying to forgive myself for <clears throat> for allowing myself to get into a situation like that you know it still hurts till this day you know all the red flags were there but I ignored them <laughs> you know what I mean so Anyways, um, so hopefully she's okay. Um, and hopefully it's just, she just wanted to cut her hair 
We're in Texas. It's hot one day. It's cold another, you know. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I don't know if you guys saw it and what you think about it. Anyway, so I'm going to go to bed. I got to go to work in the morning. But uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.